Hi Wargamers, Spirit Warrior 40k here and um, today we're going to do something uh, different again so we're not doing army developments, don't worry, you don't have to watch uh, an hour's worth, an hour and a half's worth of video but what I thought we would do was, um, I'm planning on painting up some Dire Avengers so I thought we'd go through the process from start to finish um, it's not going to be a sped up version or anything, I'm literally going to show you what, we, what we're going to be using I'll, I'll do it, then we'll come back, um, you have a view um, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do next, I'll go do it, then we'll come back, have a, have a bit of a look, and so forth. So um, we'll start with like just a generally opening the box and what's in it, um, and then we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoy the video guys, um, as always if you enjoy it, do subscribe, we're at 77 now, so thank you for all those new subscribers, um, looking to get to 100 guys, um, yep, yeah, so... Like, yeah, if you enjoy the video, subscribe it, notificate, uh, hit the bell for notifications, and comment below on anything that you think uh, I should do differently or you would do differently and whatnot. So let's get it on. Rah! Hey guys, so as I said, uh, Dire Avengers. Um, looking up to get three three units of five. Um, so yeah, I, I, I've painted some up, I've actually painted 10 of these up before, um, and then I ended up selling them, so I'm pretty annoyed at myself. Um, I'm going to try a different, slight, a different paint scheme with them, um, it's going to be slightly darker on the blue, um, and yeah, we'll see how that goes, um, let me know, again, let me know what you think below. So yeah, so let's crack them open. Um, so the uh, instructions there it's pretty standard um, I'm going to be going with this Exarch with the two Shrukan catapults and we'll also be using the uh, the nice head I don't like this open head I think it just looks daft if I'm honest um, yep so that's quite standard um, I've got about 50 million of these so if anyone knows how to get these these onto the curved head um, please comment below because I'm like, I want them on my banshees and my fire dragons and it just it, when you when you put it on it's sort of like you put, you curve it and it just pops up at one of the ends so if anyone knows the answer to that um, where I'm meant to cut it slightly in a certain way just give me a give me a tinkle below yep so there's that and obviously um, we've got all these so what I'm planning to do is I'm going to uh, I, I tend to paint from fully constructed models, so we'll be doing that. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do guys is, I'm going to log off, and I'm going to set these all up, and then we'll, um, we'll come back when they're fully assembled, and we'll go with what's next. Okay, so, catch you in a minute. Okay guys, um, I know they're not fully assembled, but I just wanted to do the, um, explain this point. So. In the past, I've made the mistakes of just cutting them out randomly and then putting them wherever I want, um, and then realised that everything's numbered <laughs> and lettered, um, and I nearly just did the same. So what I've done is I've obviously just lined everything up nicely. So you've got one, two, three, four, and then the Exarch over here. Um, not sure whether I'll use this. I think I used this on the previous one I used, but uh, I don't know, yes. Um, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, like I said, is I'm gonna just gonna stick it all together, and then, um, We'll come back to uh, what, we're, what we're looking at. All right, see you later, guys. Okay, guys. So here we have our uh, uh, completed models. Um, quite standard to just to what they're meant to look like. The only one I I tweaked, well, not even tweaked, but sort of put in some sort of stance was the Exarch because I'm obviously going with the uh, the two shoot Avenger Shun catapults. I just thought this looked like quite a cool uh, pose. Um, obviously, he will eventually at the end of the uh, of the video hopefully have the uh, have this on top. But I just thought, with in in regards to just painting, I just thought it'd be daft to try and put it on when we're trying to paint the the uh, the guy. So yeah, um, I'll put him down. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go. Sp oh. What? Drop the camera. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go and uh, spray paint these up um, in some grey. Um, you probably you probably see from some of these guys. I'm not the. I don't really 
not really big on the mould lines and that kind of stuff. But just you know, I enjoy painting and playing, so spending hours going through all the mould lines just doesn't really interest me at all. Um, but yeah, so we'll get these sprayed up and then um, we'll go through the the painting colours. Um, if anyone wants to sort of follow this in a more um, direct video, I am generally following the Dire Avengers from Apathetic Fish on YouTube, so shout out to him. Um, thanks, mate, for for a great colour scheme. Um, I think it's a bit more darker than the the uh, the blue that we have usually. Um, so yeah, you can follow it in a bit more, you know, flow flowing from him. Um, so yeah, but I'm going to spray these up in uh, in like a grey primer. And then we'll um, we'll get the uh, we'll go through the colours that we're going to use to start with, um, like the base colours, that kind of stuff. And then we'll we'll, we'll come back. So see you in a minute. Okay, guys. So here we have our not that bit, our prime models. Um, if I'm honest, um, I wouldn't use the primer again. I kind of tried to save a bit of cash. Went for some sort of automotive uh, grey primer. Um, over the uh, the Games Workshop version, and um, it went on quite wet, if I'm honest. Um, so I was a bit worried at points that it would it would ruin some of the details. But I mean, it's come out all right. But yeah, I don't know if I'd use this particular brand again. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes up. So anyway. Before we go any further, so like I said, what we're going to be doing is following Apathetic Fish's Dire Avengers um, uh, painting tutorial. Um, so I don't take any credit for this painting um, painting technique or colour scheme. So I'm just kind of just for the, for the fans that might that uh, yeah for you guys that are subscribed. Just thought I'd give this a go because I've never really done it before. And just like I said before, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, yeah. So in terms of what paints we use, let's just move these out of the way. Let's just move the camera over this way. So we're going to. This is the uh, the first of his two tutorial videos, and it's pretty much the base and wash section. So we're going to be cantoring blue over the over the the body. And um, we're going to be celestial grey to. Um, over the, the the white, so like the helmet and the tabards, um, just because obviously you've got to start off at that lower end. So we'll be using that. XV88 for the the plumes, the these bits here, um, or these bits up here, um, which will I th I'm not sure how that's going to look at the end, but we'll, we'll see. Um, so both are gold for the gold, um, and obviously Abaddon black for the uh, the black of the. Um, the guns. Um, I was going to try. Uh, I was. What I'm going to possibly do is rather than following his tutorial to the letter, I might tweak it. So I tend to paint my bits like on my towel. I'll paint the the bit the black bits black, and then I'll dry brush rather than highlight. Um, but I don't know because obviously that might leak onto the blue. So I might do that bit first. So. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. I'll I'll uh, obviously the video will, will tell you, and then obviously if we go into wash sections, we've got some uh, Dragon off nightshades, which will go over the celestial grey. Uh, Normal oil will go over the blue, and the Agrax earth shade will go over the uh, this bit here, and some of the, the coppers and that kind of stuff. Um, as always, guys, I've got my uh, my brushes, plenty of them. I uh, tend to go through them like like money. <laughs> But uh, I've, I've bought some of this stuff here, which um, has really helped out with, with, with my brush maintenance. So I think this was like three quid, three or five quid, something like that, for um, for this small pot. And um, there's tons in it, so there's plenty of it, and it's it's done wonders for my brushes. Um, obviously, we have our trusty pot of bit of water, and um, I tend to use a wet palette. Um, it's very simple. I just put some some tissue paper down, toilet paper, and then um, some grease-free paper over the top. We'll still water it down a little bit, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, uh, what to do first, the black or the blue? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do, get, I'm going to get, just get the uh, the black from the guns done first, guys, if I'm honest. Um, it's meant to be the blue, but I'm going to do the black from the, from the guns, just blatantly because... 
I find it easier to 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 like I said, just do that dry brush. I've done it on my towel, and um, it's a hell of a lot easier. So, right, so once we've got the the black up, I'll uh, give it a quick dry brush, um, and then I will get back to you. So, see you in a minute. Okay, guys. So um, here we are. You can see, obviously, we've done some. Of the, we've done the black. Um, so we got uh, the gun. Uh, this little bit between the on the arm. Uh, I did do the face. I'll, mainly because, just because. Yeah, if the white gets on it when we do the the plume. It's just quite easy to get off. Um, and I did this bit here. Um, show you the Exarch. So uh, I also did his. Um, he's got like some black sort of leather patch pouches here. Um, pouches there, uh, straps. But uh, I did them mainly because. Just so I've got that outline for when I'm doing the blue. If I go over it, obviously black will go over blue quite nicely, so that's fine. Um, so in terms of how I did what I did, guys, I mean I don't know whether you can see. You can see some of the shine coming off it, and and the slight cut, just um, slight difference in coloration. So what we did, obviously we painted the. Um, where is it? Where's your black? Obviously we painted the, based it in Abaddon black. Wait it for dry. Um, I do it a production line, so I obviously do one, two, three, four, five, then start back at one. And then we did quite a heavy dry brush of Eschen Grey. Um, I just use a medium dry brush. Um, I, I've got the small one, but if I'm completely honest, where is it? Where's my small? My small one. It's a bit. It's gone a bit hard um, and a bit knackered. So I could do the new one of those. Um, but yeah, in terms of painting, I just use, I tend to use a medium layer brush. Uh, I've got a small layer brush, but it's a bit frazzled the the end. Um, so yeah, just use that. Um, quite a heavy dry brush with the Eschen Grey. Um, obviously, you just get that slightly lighter colour of the black um, or grey, <laughs> as it's called. And then I did a much more softer um, with Downstone. Um, this was a case of put one sort of application to the brush, get as much off as possible, and then did the whole range with that one application. Um, yeah, and then to finish it off, I just give it a quick wash of Northern Oil. It just sort of gives it that more uh, gun look, if I'm honest, rather than quite a quite a boring look. Um, you know, you can sort of see, you know, it gives it more of a rustic, I think is the right word, um, rather than that dry, it gives it that sort of shiny, wet look. Um, yeah, I mean the XR did the the, uh, the gun on the, the I've put this sword on the back of it on the back of him, so went onto that, you know. So it looks like um, you know, it's just a technique of it's not. I guess it's not my technique. It's just something I've picked up um, from doing the towel really. Um, rather than highlighting every single freaking bit of the the towel's legs, it's just easier. Um, I will say one thing, guys. If these models don't come out perfect, it is because I have been painting, a, you know, two major models of Tau, a Ghost Keel and a Commander. So they're pretty much like three of these on top of each other. So painting little models is quite uh, a challenge again. But um, so yeah. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to pick up uh, some of the blue, get some Cantor blue, get it on my wet palette, wash it down a little bit, and then we're going to be doing uh, if we get. Just grab this guy. We're doing all the armor. Um, obviously, we're leaving the the uh, the hat and the plume and the uh, this bit at the back. So it'll be all the all the armor bits. Um, with the Exarch again, same. Just all the armor. Leave the plume. Can we get it in focus and the hat. Uh, this front tabard and the back tabard, obviously. Um, yeah, as Duncan says on Warhammer TV, two thin coats. Um, so yeah, that is the the black done. So a little bit earlier than than I would usually do it, but at least it's it's allowed me to do that dry brush sec um, part of it without getting that the dry brush all over the place of the the colours which we've already done. So on to Cantor Blue. Uh, maybe we should put this in the back here just so we we know what we're actually doing. Some Dire Avengers. There we go. Part of the. Uh, Part of the screen there, get rid of some of the bits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, I will catch you in a bit once the, the blue is done. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so we have now finished the, uh, the Cantor Blue on the, um, the Avengers. So, as you can see, it kind of brings out that nice black which we were talking about earlier now. Um, so, try and keep it around so you can see the whole sort of, the whole armour um, is blue, obviously, because <laughs> they are blue. Um, this little bit here as well, we've got blue, a little bit under there. A little bit of touch-ups need doing, but to be fair, it's, that's actually the one bit I'm half decent at, is touching ups. Um, yeah, did at some point think, why didn't I just sub-assembly this, because the chest was quite difficult to get to, but nothing, uh, nothing I was able to sort of deal with in the end. Um, another one here, guys. Um... Yeah. So um, we'll be on the, let's, let's, this is the the Exarch. I think that looks pretty cool to be fair, guys. If I'm honest. Um, yeah, that chest piece was a bit difficult to sort of get around. I had to swap down to an extra small artificer layer brush. But uh, again, we'll just touch those up. Yeah, I'm quite good at the old touch ups. I need to get some uh, some black in those little coil things there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, got most of the under bits. A bit of a perfectionist, so like I like to get all the underneath bits. There's a little bit of white there which I haven't got, so we'll try and get under into that. Um, but yeah, so generally we are on our way. So we now have the black and the blue down. Just to excuse the noise, it's my daughter in the other room. Um, so next, guys, we will be going on to Celeste Grey. Um, yep, with this we'll be doing the, uh, obviously the, the helmet, not the plume, just the helmet, and the, um, tabard at the back for the, the regular Avengers, and for the Exarch we'll be going for the, again, the helmet, the shoulder pads here, which are white, um, the front tabard and the, the back tabard just there. So, um, yeah, I uh, will get those uh, bits painted up um, and then we'll, uh, we'll have a look. Uh, I doubt it will look much different to this because obviously we're just going to be painting over the white um, with grey. Well, actually grey with grey, but yeah, we'll see how that looks. And um, yeah, stay tuned guys and we'll see where we're up to. Okay guys, so we've just finished off the Celestial Grey. Um, there's a, yeah, there is a change in, in the, the colour, so you can just sort of see that and on the back. Um, to be fair, the hardest bit was sort of figuring out where the white began and the um, the blue ended. I think on a couple of them, mainly this one, I had to sort of just make a judgment make a judgment call on it really. Um, yeah, uh, I don't mind. It looks alright. Um, how I did did did. Blah, 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 excuse me, did two coats of it, so um, yeah, and then just touched up the black, putting those black bits on the helmet at the back. There's a bit of white that needs touching up there. It's two seconds, guys. There you go, and that is my first online painting bit <laughs> I've ever done. <laughs> um, with my phone camera, let's just get that back. So, uh, yeah. So the next bit, guys, is going to be the um, the plumes. So we're going to be using uh, where is it? Our XV88 for this. Um, yeah, just sort of. I think it's just sort of a bit. You can see it says base, so it just gives, gives us that base yellow. Um, because if you look at the pictures, you know, Avalanche Sunset I think is a bit too bright, um, and we're going to bring that that colour up anyway, aren't we? With, um, with some highlights and some layers. So uh, yeah, so I'll get the, um, let's bring this guy back in, he looks pretty dapper to be fair, looks quite cool. Um, so yeah, once we've done the, um, the XV8, we'll go on some gold, but um, before we get to that bit, I'll, uh, I'll show you where we're at. All right, check in a minute. Okay guys, we've now just, uh, here's the uh, yellow. So I'll just bring up, uh, bring up this guy. Say yellow, the uh, XV88. 
uh, if I'm honest, I, I, I've put it on. I think it it, uh, it does go quite well with the with the uh, the colour and the scheme. Um, like I said, the the overall thing at the end of it will um, be slightly darker um, from what I've seen on the actual video I'm following. The uh, the blacks, the, so the blue is going to be quite dark with some quite extreme highlights. Um, and obviously the XV88 isn't, you know, it's, it's more of a brown than yellow. So it's a very light brown but very dark yellow. So, um, yeah, quite happy with it. So next thing we're going to go on to, guys, is the, the golds. Um, we're going to be using uh, Balthazar Gold. Make sure you give these a good shake, guys, because this has been sitting for a while and I opened it and it looked uh, black. So I had to give it a good shake for about three minutes before it really went back to the nice, uh, the nice colour that we've got. Um, so yeah, so we'll uh, we'll have a look at um, what we're going to be painting. Um, you know, it's going to be mostly. Uh, so if we just pick up this guy here, um, just this top bit of the of the, the gun here. Um, some of the bits in here, you know, some of the random bits uh, of gold. Obviously, on the X arc, there's going to be a lot of touching up because I've got to get right into there. His. Um, if we zoom this in a little bit more, this bit on the, the helm, um, some of the uh, the gems here, um, probably see some of the sword maybe, um, that bit between the white and the uh, the, the XV88, uh, around the thing there, so we'll get in there. But yeah, so, oh, and the uh, this tiny little bit of his uh, chin 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 just there with my nail. So yeah, so stay tuned guys. And uh, we'll back in as quick as that. Okay, guys. So we have now finished the uh, the gold off. Um, I'll just put that behind there. See, so we've uh, just sort of come down onto the top of the gun, uh, the corner bits, a little bit down there, and some of the the jewelry bits um, gone to the back. Um, I wasn't really sure if these were meant to be black or gold. I went with I went with the gold. I thought they looked quite quite nice. Um, you know, we'll stick a bit of uh, highlighting and whatnot on that. Um, that would look quite nice, uh, as you can see. Obviously, as well, I'll just put this black line down to sort of hold that that gem in place. Um, it just looked like the gem was just randomly hanging there. Um, again, with this one, you can see this bit here. Try to get it in there as best as possible. Probably to do some some touch ups with that. Um, again, this I think is better silver, but um, at least for now it's sort of out, you know, so it's not in that, that white colour, so at least it's uh, visible, so we could, we're easier to paint. Um, just put it like that. And there's the Exarch. I've got the, uh, the jump, the, the bit at the top, this bit in this middle bit here, the two jumps there. Obviously, we've got the, uh, the two guns. Um, bit around the plume and I went with uh, did that bit, this bit under here and then I, I did a bit, bit of the, on this sword um, there's some light strap bits which down, down, down here will put make, put like a purpley colour um, and the rest of it will be silver I think so I kind of went over these little rivets here in the uh, the gold as well they've not come out great but I can maybe touch that up later um, but yeah so that's that guys Next stage, we're going to um, wash all the blue in non oil. It's going to really darken it up a little bit to uh, sort of give that idea of what I, how I want it to come out. Um, once we've washed the armor in blue, we're going to wash the the plume in Agrax Earthshade. Give that some definition, and then finally, we'll, the white will be done in Draconoff Nightshade. Um, I've used this before on white, and I've used it quite heavily, and it's with the Azuman, and it didn't really work, so we'll try and do a bit more of a smooth view on it. But uh, yeah, so that's our next, those are our next three washes. Um, there's no point me stopping every, every after every wash, because you're not, you're not going to see real the difference, so we'll, um, we'll stop when we've got to the, um, the end of that phase. So yeah, see you in a bit, guys. Okay, guys. Um... It's been a night <laughs> for you. It's been a second, and uh, all the washes are dry. So, um, just give me two seconds. I'll just put the, uh, the lights on. Get a bit more.
colour. No, I mean, they're quite dark, to be fair, at the moment. Um, having had other wash, and to be fair, the um, the blue is meant to be quite dark because it's going to be it's going to be brought out quite nicely with the. Uh, so we can get, there we are. That's a bit better. Brought out a bit nicer with the um, the highlights. Um, yeah, not looking forward to in the white. If I'm honest, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep dropping them and break them probably. But um, yeah, so the next bit of highlighting I've got the colours, but um, after that I need to go get. Uh, I think there's about five colours I need to finish the model. But um, again, for you it will be seconds. For me, it might be days or a couple of weeks. <laughs> but um, yeah, not really sure how I'm gonna do these plumes yet because obviously on the um, the box art. They're like this black and yellow, and obviously on him, this one here, do a bit of a look view on this side. Yeah, it's this uh, pink as well, whereas the, the the tutorial I'm following doesn't have that, but um, in the day we don't need to necessarily follow the tutorial totally, do we? Um, but uh, yeah, so, so far guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, again, uh, this will be mere seconds for you to uh, to get to the next pass. But for me, it might be a little bit longer. So until then, guys, see you soon. Okay, guys, so the five five days of me getting paints has elapsed. For you, it has been a couple of seconds. Um, so I don't know whether it's, you can see what, yeah, you can see. A bit of highlighting just on the uh, the edges there and obviously on the, uh, see on the top just there and on some of the leg work. It's only, uh, it's quite a, a, a dark highlight really. Let's look at the Exarch, just, a, just so I can get him out. Um, again, you can't really see much. Yeah, uh, I highlighted the uh, the six pack. Uh, I think I might just paint it back the normal color because it just doesn't look right to me. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go on to, um, oh, what, did we, what, did, what color did we use? We used um, a Latoc blue for that. So we're going to go on to um, to a, a more more extreme highlight of Howarth blue next, and um, we'll, we'll catch you in a in a minute. And you can probably see just out of the corner over here um, another painting I've been doing while I've been get, waiting to get the paints. So a quick uh, quick look. There we go. They're looking pretty nice. Just got a wash on them. Waiting for that to dry. But uh, we'll stick with these. And uh, yeah, catch you in two seconds. And here we are guys, this is the, uh, the final bit of highlighting done. You can sort of see that nice sort of blend with the blue and dark going to light. I think it's quite nice on the uh, on the legs more than I think this is a quite nice one I think. And it sort of gives you that, uh, that nice tone with the light sort of reflecting off onto, the, onto those extreme edges. And uh, we'll just quickly go to this bit. Just nicely on the, on the legs there. Uh, I really like it guys to be fair. So um, yeah. Next I think we will be going on to doing the uh, the yellow. Might be the white, I can't remember. But uh, we'll get, catch you again in a couple of seconds. Okay guys, so we've gone over the... Um, the yellow bit with this towel light orca. Um, let's sort of see in here, I would sort of dry brush the plumes. If I'm honest, I don't like the colour. Um, I do prefer the yellow, but um, it's going to be lightened up in a second with the next colour. So we'll come back in a second and see where we're at with, uh, with that. Okay guys, so we've just finished with the Ungor Flesh. Um, obviously just on the, uh, on these little bits on the, uh, on the, the arms and the legs. And then we'll just sort of use a bit of dry brush on that top. Again, still not 100% happy with the color, but you know, I'm, I'm willing to go with this. You know, at the end of the day, we can always tweak it and uh, see how we get on. Um, I'm not sure what the next stage is. I think it might be the, the yellow, sorry, the, the white maybe. 
because I think that's pretty much the next step. Look at all the highlighting on the blue. Um, I just need to finish, finish off the back of this gun as well. Um, top bit, top bit, just, uh, just. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm just this bit here, the top bit, the dire sword. Finish that off. And yeah, we'll, probably, we'll see how we. Um, I think the next bit will probably be the red. Sorry, the uh, the white on the helms, and then we'll see how we go. So I'll catch you in a few minutes, guys. Um, see ya. Okay guys, so we've done a, um, a first go over with um, Ulthur and Grey. Um, I've rem remembered now why I hate painting white. Uh, I hate painting most colours to be fair because they're all blinking hard. Um, yeah, so I've tried not to go over what I've painted too much at the moment. I've just sort of done an initial go over. Um, it's really scratchy. You know? I didn't want to play with the paint too much from what I've, I've read. You know, just do a coat. Don't mess with it because it's just going to make it break and look a bit of a, a shambles. One of the hardest bits, obviously, the cloaks. Um, <laughs> it's been a while since I've painted to this kind of model. Obviously, recently, as you know, I've been doing a lot of towel, so very sort of block, boxy kind of paint uh, schemes. Uh, we'll just go straight to the arc. Next arc. Um, this one's not too bad. The, fr the front um, tabard looks alright. But um, there's definitely going to be another another coat going over, um, possibly even two, um, so we can get that nice sort of uh, smooth finish. Um, as always, guys, as Duncan says, keep your paints watered down, um, nice and thin. Control it on your brush. Um, my my brushes are a bit of a nightmare at the moment. Like I said before, um, this is my brush. Uh, you can't really see it there. That's my medium layer brush. You can see it's all frayed and whatnot. Um, I'm doing my best to sort of keep them going. So I've moved over to, to this this one. I don't even know what it is. It's something my mother bought me for Christmas. Um, it's yeah, it's a bit scratchy and sort of doesn't retain the, the paint very well, but it does it does the job at the moment. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to slap on another couple of coats of this, guys, and then we'll uh, come back to it and we'll move on to what the next color is, which I think is more more white. <laughs> So, oh the joy. So, uh, catch you in a second, guys. Okay, guys, so, um, I actually forgot to, to record the last bit. <laughs> so, we've done the author and grey on the um, on the helmets. I've also done um, some white scar on the top, and it's not the best, but I could keep going and going and going. I'm just going to build up layers. Um, some of them look all right. I really, I, at the end, I just literally watered it down as best as I could. And just went for that, and then I did the uh, the eyes on them. So what I went for with the eyes was um, I did a corn red, and then the front half with an evil sun scarlet, and then literally a dot at the front of wild water red, and then used um, some white scar to just put a dot for reflection purposes at the back. If you can just see, there you go. Um, it's been a while since I painted eyes, so some of them aren't as good as others but um, I try to touch up with the black as best I can but I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna spend hours trying to get them perfect at the end of the day it's not for a golden demon award or anything like that you know and at the end of the day it looks good from there um, this is the Exarch you know, his eyes are quite good um, the whites come out quite nice especially on the, the front tabard a little bit patchy but again not too bad. Um, the back tabard's a bit sketchy, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, it's not the best, but again, hopefully we're going to be more looking at the front. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I, I did his... Um, I've just done some of the sword as well, if you can see it. See the sword? Yeah, that's just the top. I've just done some um, lead belcher on the uh, on the hilt, and then obviously the screamer pink on the... Uh, the purple bit of the sword, and then just washed them. The purple with caribou crimson and null oil on the, uh, the other bit. So yeah, so what we'll do now, guys? Um, I think we're going to be going on to gems next, if I'm honest. Um, maybe a bit of highlighting on the uh, the gold with some um, stormho silver. Just do a little bit on there. But yeah, we'll come back in a minute, guys. Keep 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 watch. 
Okay guys, so we have now done the, the gems. Um, let's go with this little man here. So, on the, um, let's see if I can just put him, put him down here, there we are. So on the, uh, the guys, so we've got a, we've done the gem on here, and then anything hanging off the gun or, or whatnot, and then anyone that has something hanging off the back as well, I've done one, so an example is uh, this guy, he's got one hanging off the back, you can just see it's uh, there. I've also done the uh, the lens of this sort of targeting system and you can't really see very well but you can see from this white dot just there on each of the uh, the pads they've got a soul stone there as well. Um, so that's the general guys and then the other guy the XR you can see obviously on the helm, the cen center chest, two bits where the tab is, uh, there's this bit of the gun hit, uh, hanging down. Both sides of the gun have one of these, so they've got it on both sides. And uh, yeah, that's it guys, pretty much. Um, we're gonna go on to try and highlight a little bit of the gold with some Stormhost silver, if I can find where I've put the damn thing. Um, for some reason I've got Iron Breaker. Um, so in terms of the colours for these gems, guys, we went with, um, let's put you back. I started off with a like a base sort of coat of Xerxes purple. Then we did half the bottom, half of the bottom, the bottom half of the gem, Jean Steeler purple. Um, Follow up with that, just tried to just do a little bit of a dot at the very bottom of Emperor's Children. And then obviously a little dot of white scar at the top just for that, uh, um, that glow effect, and then what I did, I just use a bit of hard coat. I use it on all my um, gems, um, just gives it that bit of a shine. Um, you're probably thinking on it, guys. You know, it's not very well blended. Um, if we can zoom in there, uh, I'm not the best at blending, guys. But to be fair, from the distance that you see it at, it does look like that sort of colour gem. Um, I also did a bit of hard coat on their faces, just to give them that bit of a sheen because I just think it's quite cool that that, that shines a little bit. Um, so yeah, like I said, next bit, I'm just going to do a bit of highlighting on the um, on the gold, a bit of Stormhole Silver, because I don't think I have Gehenny's gold, which is what's advised. And then once that's done, they are done apart from the transfers, which I'm going to have a go at, but I know it's not going to go great because of the rounded helm, but we'll see how it goes. So check back in about, well, you, I'll, I'll check back with you in, a, in about an hour. <laughs> You can check back with me in about half a second. So stay tuned, guys, and we'll see what happens next. Okay, guys, so we are now finished. Um, we did a, a quick dry brush. Or it was it's a highlight of the, the Stormo Silver. I try to kind of do it a bit very, um, uh, what's the word? Very messily. You know, it, it's, uh, if you look at this one, see it's a bit all over the place. It kind of just gives it a bit of a, a rustic kind of scratched up look um, it's more of a dry brush to be fair um, you know you can't really see it much on on this one I might just give that another go over quickly oh um, and obviously I've also done the, uh, the transfers well these aren't transfers I did my best to try and get that as best as possible um, but again from a distance you're not going to notice uh, and I got the transfers on here with these um, those of you that don't know, transfers uh, are a pain in the ass. So what I tend to do, a bit of hard coat on the area, um, sort of gives it that sticky kind of um, something to stick to. A bit of water, and then sort of put it on a bit of tape, paper towel, water over it till it comes loose. So I'll put it over, and I'll tap it down with a bit of dry cloth um, to get all that excess water out, and then just cover it over with a bit of Lamy medium, and it just uh, it takes the sheen off it really. Um, they're not 100% straight, but again, it's tabletop ready. Um, so all it needs now is basing, so I am going to base them, and then I'll come back to you. This will probably be, for me, definitely a couple of days, because um, what I tend to do is, if I've got some actually, let me just double check people. Where's me, uh, that's Astro Granite. Um, nope. 
Oh, hang on. Yes. So I've got a bit of astral granite debris. Log that down. And then we do um, a small wash of... I should probably have got these out beforehand, shouldn't I? That would have been a bit better um, rather than doing it this way. So, not that one. Uh, is it that one? No. No. Oh, this is terrible filming, guys. I do apologise. <laughs> um, there it is. Yeah, so we do a um, small bit of agar uh, Athenian camo shade, just like a little blob here and there. Then a wash over the whole thing with agar earth shade. And then we do a dry brush of... Again, should have got this out beforehand. <laughs> um, I know it is, but it's terminal, it's terminal to stone, guys. Um, and it's, I haven't got one model to show you. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go get, get onto that. Um, and if I've got enough of this, I don't know if there's much left uh, after basing a, a, um, a, a blade with no riptide, a ghost keel. But yeah, go into that, and then this and this, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll show you the finished models, guys. Cool. Okay, war gamers. So um, yeah, this is, I've finally got the. Uh, the Astro Granite Debris, so we're now going to, uh, like I said, for you it's been about a minute, but for me it's been, uh, well, for you it's been a second, but for me it's been about a week and a half, so I'm just going to run through what, we do, what we've got. What we've got. As like you already know, we've got the uh, Dire Avengers, um, we're going to be basing them. Um, so I'm here babysitting today, so we've got my uh, my Skittles, my Jack Daniels Tennessee Cider, um, the paints we're going to be using, so we're going to be basing with... Uh, some Astro Goat de Debris, then we're going to do some random wash of Athonian, co uh, uh, Athonian Camo Shade, then we're going to wash the rest of the Astro Goat Debris in Agrax Earth Shade, and then we're going to do a slight dry brush in Terminata Stone. Um, so yep, yeah, so we've got everything set, I've got my water, I've got my, uh, uh, my texture brush, or texture scoop, um, just from Games Workshop, you can't I hope it's not going to uh, so but we're going to obviously we'll scoop it on with this and then we'll just spread it around with uh, the smaller side and then we've obviously got our, our wash brush uh our medium shade brush there so um <coughs> we're going to do guys we're going to we're going to stick this on and then we'll come back and then uh, we'll go through the washes and whatnot so um yeah that's just what's going on um yeah so we'll catch you in <coughs> excuse me in about 10 seconds Okay guys, so we've just finished the um, using the Astro Granite Debris. Um, I do apologise, the light's not the best. Uh, I am using my phone again, guys. Um, so yeah, we... Uh, I do have I do have this... Oh, oh, nearly clipped it. Someone's died. <laughs> I do have this one as well, which is just the normal Astro Granite, but I find it... Um, I find when you put it on, it kind of... It shrinks, and it sort of goes a bit globby. So I, like I said, I, I tend to stick with the astrogranite debris, and what it does, you skip it on, and yes, I'd probably say it shrinks as well, but um, what it does, it gives you this sort of cracked kind of um, urban kind of um, cratery kind of look. Um, so, yeah, so you put it on first, and um, then what, you, what I would suggest is I just sort of go around, uh, let's try and get some light, bit of lighting in here. Um, and you can see little bits like this where it's so just here where it looks as if there's nothing there. And just go around and uh, reapply a little bit. Um, I have done it twice already, so, and obviously I'm just missing bit, bits and pieces. But um, I also like, I also don't mind the, uh, you can see, uh, if we maybe bring it in here, um, little bits of it going over the, uh, the edge. Um, I kind of like that. I like that it, uh, here's one kind of, I did earlier with Astro Granite, which might be a better sort of view. Um, oh, sorry, guys, the light is terrible. Let me see if I can move under this under this light. There, we go, that's a bit better. So you can see, I've just forget the uh, the snow. We can see that kind of effect it has. But yeah, like I said, I don't. I I like my uh, my bases to go slightly over. Um, I don't sort of worry too much about it. Let's bring back the uh, Avengers. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I've tidied up a little bit. Obviously, obviously the base I'm going to be painting black. But, um, but yeah, I, I like it going over. And also, you'll see little 
see like on the right there a little bit of astro again i don't mind that because it sort of just gives it that uh, effect that the mud's kind of got kicked up a little bit and same with the feet um yeah but um obviously if you want to want to uh copy this technique guys you can either follow sort of my uh this here or just um go on to warhammer tv i think it's on one of the advent calendar th things from a couple of years ago it's very simple to follow it's i follow it for all my models like i said with this towel one which i've just got out the box um i've done the same over it and then just put some valhalla um blizzard on but um all my old are are based this same way um i like it like i said um I am looking at other ways to, to base without the astronaut debris because it's, it's just a, sort of a, a safe bet for myself. But um, yeah, uh, I saw on, on Instagram today where using a bit of um, a bit of cork, um, then put a bit of uh, sand and, and small bits of slate around it, leaving some gaps like in the middle and around the cork, um, spray painting it black, stick some masking tape around and then using... Um, Mixing Nurgle's Rock with some, um, oh, what was it called? Resin, epoxy resin. And then sort of slap, um, pouring that into the, uh, onto the base, letting it dry, remove the base. It sort of gives this nice sort of, um, uh, tainted kind of river kind of look. Um, might, might use that with, um, maybe a, a fourth army if I ever get around to it. Cause my, my dark angels have, um, what do they use? They use um, a ghrelin badland, I think. It gives like a cracked effect. And then I put a few tufts on it. So just sort of, again, just a slight different one for each of my armies. But um, I do like... Oh, oh, I don't know what you got to look at then. But yeah, I do like the uh, the Astral Grand Debris. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's maybe just a comfort thing at the moment. But yeah, so what we're going to do now, guys... Um, because I think it has dried 100%. You've got to leave it at least 40 minutes, guys. I think I've left it about an hour. Um, again, for you, it's been seconds. For me, it's been weeks. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go on to um, the Athonian camo shades. Um, this just, I mean, I do use it. I, obviously, like I said, I use this on all my stuff. So what I, I do usually is I put this on sporadically. You won't really see much difference. And then I go all over with the Astral Grant, um, the uh, Agrex Earth shade. But, um, so I don't really see the point in using this, but it, it gives a very slight variation. But, um, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll put this on and then, uh, we'll maybe see, depending on the lights, if we can, if I can show you that. If not, guys, I'll stick this on and then we'll just show you the, the end product with just the washes before we go into the, to the, uh, Terminator stone. So, um, yeah, see you in, well, for me, 40 minutes, for you, two seconds. Okay guys, so it's been three days for me, but again, another few seconds for you. Um, so we have finished the uh, the wash of um, Athenian Camo Shades. You can probably just about see the slight difference in colour there. So um, it's not, it's very, very subtle. So I guess you can just about see the difference just on this side, there's a slightly darker shade. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go run over it with the Ash, not Astro Granite, we've already put Astro Granite on, with um, Agrax Earth Shades, and then we'll come back, and uh, then after that we'll do a bit of dry brushing. Right guys, so um, the washes of the of these Dire Avengers are now finished. Um, I doubt you're going to be able to see much much difference, if I'm honest, but um, I'm just letting you know obviously that they've been done. So our next step is to dry brush with, um, what's it called? What's it called with this one? Uh, Terminator Stone. So we'll dry brush them, and then um, I'll just paint the uh, the base black, uh, the, which is great, just so uh, to finish off, and then we are done. Um, yeah, currently uh, we're all there drying, working on these. Um, Actually, I know they're not part of that video, but I'll quickly go over just what I'm doing. So, painted them with, or spray painted them with Avalon Sunset, then washed them with some uh, Cassandra Yellow, and now we're just going over the uh, the model with uh, some more Avalon Sunset, just to get rid of the um, the uh, the serum set, the Cassandra Yellow mess that's on the flat bits. Um, obviously, you can see, for example, this is one I haven't gone over in over yet. You can probably, uh, if it zooms, 
just see how the uh, the, the Cassandra yellow sort of splashed up onto the main bits of yellow so it's just going over those um, but yeah sorry guys that's a completely wrong tutorial but yeah so we're going over we're going to dry brush these in terminator stone and uh i'll paint paint the edge of the bases and then i'll come back to you in a second okay guys so we are now finally finished um i think the video must be around about 20 minutes but uh for me it's been a month and a half <laughs> um so as you can see with the base, I'll just try and zoom in a little bit rather than picking it up. Um, you can see like they're just the raised, raised bits have just been dry brushed with that turn out of stone. It just sort of brings up that, uh, brings a bit of detail to it. Um, yeah, and uh, just gives it that more authentic look. And obviously as you can see, I've just painted the base black. Um, did think one, once upon a time that uh, I'd do it gray, but um, I do like the black. I just. I don't know why, I just think it's that's what it should be. Um, so yeah, overall guys, um, I'm really happy with the outcome. This, the, the tabards are a bit, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, you probably, I'd probably go with about 4. But um, I just, I don't paint regularly enough, regularly enough to sort of really give that a, you know, a, an improvement if I'm honest. But yeah, I, I, I must admit, I didn't like this this tab, this thing at first, the colouring of it, but um, it's grown on me. I like the darkness of the of the blue, um, and yeah, it's just if I'm honest, they come out really really nice. Um, again, white. If if in in future, I think I will do the the heads separately, um, and possibly even the uh, the tabards on the back, just paint them separately, then stick glue them together. Um, at a later date, uh, just because obviously they were spray painted in the um, I don't know what I could spray painted them in, was it whether it was black or grey, and it's just obviously not it's not the best, the white. But again, I don't pretend to be the best, I don't pretend to be the worst. But um, at the end of the day, on a table, if you see it from up here, you know, that's that's your table view, you're not going to notice too much the, the, the you know bits and pieces. I am a perfectionist, so it does bug me, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, so those are those, and um, we'll just do a quick summary, guys, um, with me on screen. Yeah. So, guys, I really hope you um, enjoyed the tutorial. Um, again, like I think I said at the beginning, it's been a month and a half since I did it, but um, if you want to follow it, um, you can follow my one, or if you want the, the proper one, seeing it painted, go to Apath Apathetic Fish on YouTube and uh, just Google, or just Google, just search for his Dire Avengers. He does um, a lot of Elder Dice, done the Fire Dragons and the Scorpions, which I've followed on his, again. Um, it's really good and really, really quite professional, if I'm honest. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so if you, if you did, please like and subscribe. Share it off with your friends um, and whatnot. Um, it's my first sort of painting sort of video. It was kind of like an off-the-cuff thing that I wanted to give it a go. So please comment below down there and uh, let me know what you think went well, what you think went went badly. Um, yeah, so you can just uh, leave those comments below, and um, so I can um, improve the, the channel. Um, in terms of myself, guys, I haven't. Done a week. This is pretty much the weekly updates, but um, very briefly, I'm going on to do. Um, George, stop it! Go and play in there. <laughs> um, I'm going on to do Wraith Blades um, now. Uh, you, you think I think I showed you briefly in, that, in the tutorial of the Dire Avengers. You've got a bit of Wraith Blades as well, um, and then I'll be going back to some Tau. Um, must admit, my painting um, enthusiasm has dipped a little bit, uh, especially when I'm when I'm just going over yellow on these again but I think once I've got the uh, gone over the the shade with the yellow to bring up that color again uh, we will then be on to like highlights and the more detail so it'll be a bit nicer but uh, at the moment I just yeah it's a bit like I um, haven't been able to play much games since the last time I mentioned it um, yeah just haven't got the time guys work's been a bit killer but um, yeah so anyway uh, I'm gonna sign off because I, I want to get this video out because, um, like I said, for me it's been a month and a half to two months to, to, to do it. But um, like I said, please subscribe and like and please comment because I do want to. I, I would like to do a couple more of these, but um, 
I don't know if it's any good unless you let me know. So uh, please let me know. And um, yeah, so we'll catch you soon, guys. And I hope you have a, a good end of the week and a good weekend.